Trieste, Italian pronunciation, Triesti, listen, Slovene, TRST, is a city and a seaport in northeastern Italy. It is situated towards the end of a narrow strip of Italian territory lying between the Adriatic Sea and Slovenia, which lies almost immediately south and east of the city. It is also located near Croatia some further 30 kilometers 19 miles south. Trieste is located at the head of the Gulf of Trieste and throughout history it has been influenced by its location at the crossroads of Latin, Slavic, and Germanic cultures. In 2009, it had a population of about 205,000 and it is the capital of the autonomous region Friuli Venezia Giulia. The metropolitan population of Trieste is 410,000, with the city comprising about 240,000 inhabitants. Trieste was one of the oldest parts of the Habsburg monarchy, belonging to it from 1382 until 1918. In the 19th century the monarchy was one of the great powers of Europe and Trieste was its most important seaport. As a prosperous seaport in the Mediterranean region, Trieste became the fourth largest city of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, after Vienna, Budapest, and Prague. In the fin de siècle period at the end of the 19th century it emerged as an important hub for literature and music. Trieste underwent an economic revival during the 1930s, and Trieste was an important spot in the struggle between the Eastern and Western blocs after the Second World War. Names and etymology The original pre-Roman name of the city, Turgiste, with the est suffix typical of Illyrian, is speculated to be derived from a hypothetical Venetic word asterisk turg market, etymologically related to Old Church Slavonic, trg, market, whence Slovenian, Serbian and Croatian trg, trznitsa, and the Scandinavian borrowing torg. Roman authors also transliterated the name as Turgistum. Modern names of the city include, Italian, Trieste, Slovene, TRST, German, Trieste, Hungarian, Trieste, Croatian, TRST, Serbian, Turst TRST, Greek, Turgest Turhesti and Czech, Turst. Geography Trieste lies in the northernmost part of the High Adriatic in northeastern Italy, near the border with Slovenia. The city lies on the Gulf of Trieste. Built mostly on a hillside that becomes a mountain, Trieste's urban territory lies at the foot of an imposing escarpment that comes down abruptly from the Karst Plateau towards the sea. The Karst landforms close to the city reach an elevation of 458 meters 1, feet above sea level. It lies on the borders of the Italian geographical region, the Balkan Peninsula, and the Middle Europa. Climate The territory of Trieste is composed of several different climate zones depending on the distance from the sea and elevation. The average temperatures are 5.4 degrees Celsius 42 degrees Fahrenheit in January and 23.3 degrees Celsius 74 degrees Fahrenheit in July. The climatic setting of the city is humid subtropical climate CFA according to Köppen climate classification. On average, humidity levels are pleasantly low, approximately 65%, while only two months, January and February, receive slightly less than 60 mm of precipitation. Trieste along with the Istrian Peninsula has evenly distributed rainfall above 1,000 mm in, in total, it is noteworthy that no true summer drought occurs. Snow occurs on average 0 to 2 days per year. Temperatures are very mild, lows below zero are somewhat rare and highs above 30 degrees Celsius 86 degrees Fahrenheit aren't as common as in other parts of Italy. Winter maxima are lower than in typical Mediterranean zone approximately 5 to 11 degrees Celsius with quite high minima approximately 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Two basic weather patterns interchange, sunny, sometimes windy but often very cold days frequently connected to an occurrence of northeast wind called Bora as well as rainy days with temperatures about 6 to 11 degrees Celsius 43 to 52 degrees Fahrenheit. Summer is very warm with maxima about 28 degrees Celsius 82 degrees Fahrenheit and lows above 20 degrees Celsius 68 degrees Fahrenheit with the hot nights being influenced by the warm sea water. The absolute maximum of the last 50 years is 37.2 degrees Celsius 99 degrees Fahrenheit in 2003, whereas the absolute minimum is minus 14.6 degrees Celsius 6 degrees Fahrenheit in 1956. The Trieste area is divided into eight A10A zones according to USDA hardiness zoning, Villa Opicina 320 to 420 MSL with 8A in upper suburban area down to 10A in especially shielded and windproof valleys close to the Adriatic Sea. 
The climate can be severely affected by the Bora, a very dry and usually cool north to northeast Katabatic wind that can last for several days and reach speeds of up to 140 km per hour, 87 miles per hour, thus sometimes bringing sub-zero temperatures to the entire city. City districts Trieste is administratively divided in seven districts Altipiano Ovest, Borgo San Nazario Contavello, Contoval, Prosecco, Prosec, Santa Croce, Cris, Altipiano Est, Ban, Bani, Basovisa, Basavica, Gropada, Gropada, Opacina, Opsine, Padriciano, Padris, Trevichiano, Trevci, Barcola, Slovene, Barcavlia, Colonia, Slovene, Colonia, Conconello, Furlughi, Greta, Slovene, Greta, Grignano, GRL Jan, Guardiella, Slovene, Verdelge, Miramer Roiano, Slovene, Rogen, Scorcola, Scorcla, Barrera Nuova, Borgo Giuseppino, Borgo Teresiano, Sita Nuova, Sita Vecchia, San Vito, San Giusto, Campialisi, Sant'Andrea Cavana, Barrera Vecchia, Stara Mitnica, San Giacomo, Sveti Jakob, Santa Maria Maddalena Superiore, Sveta Maria Magdalena Zagornia, Catanara, Catanara, Chiadino, Slovene, Cadinj, San Luigi Guardiella, Verdelge, Longera, Slovene, Longer, San Giovanni, Sveti Ivan, Rizol, Slovene, Rokal, Malara, Chiarbola, Slovene, Carbola, Kolonkovic, Kolonkovic, Santa Maria Maddalena Inferiore, Slovene, Spadnia Sveta Maria Magdalena, Rot Santa Maria Maddalena Superiore, Slovene, Zagornia Sveta Maria Magdalena, Servola, Sketinj, Paji Paisa Paji San. Anna, Sveta Anna, Valmora Altora Borgo San Sergio The iconic city center is Piazza Unita di. Italia, which is between the large 19th century avenues and the old medieval city, composed of many narrow and crooked streets. History Ancient history Since the second millennium BC, the location was an inhabited site. Originally an Illyrian settlement, the Veneti entered the region in the 10th 9th c. BC and seem to have given the town its name, Turgaste, since Turg asterisk is a Venetic word meaning market, Q. V. Oderzo, whose ancient name was Opitergium. Still later, the town was captured by the Carni, a tribe of the Eastern Alps, before becoming part of the Roman Republic in 177 BC during the Second Istrian War. Between 52 and 46 BC, it was granted the status of Roman colony under Julius Caesar, who recorded its name as Turgaste in Commentary de Bello Gallico, 51 BC, his work which recounts events of the Gallic Wars. In imperial times the border of Roman Italy moved from the Timavo River to Formione, today Rossano. Roman Turgaste flourished due to its position on the road from Achilleia, the main Roman city in the area, to Istria, and as a port, some ruins of which are still visible. Emperor Augustus built a line of walls around the city in 33-32 BC, while Trajan built a theater in the 2nd century. At the same time, the citizens of the town were enrolled in the tribe Pupinia. In 27 BC, Trieste was incorporated in Regio X of Augustan Italia. In the early Christian era, Trieste continued to flourish. Between AD 138 and 161, its territory was enlarged, and nearby Carni and Catali were granted Roman citizenship by the Roman Senate and Emperor Antoninus Pius at the pleading of a leading Terhestine citizen, the quaestor Urbanus, Fabius Severus. Late Antiquity the city was witness to the Battle of the Frigidus in the Vipava Valley in AD 394, in which Theodosius defeated Eugene. Despite the deposition of Romulus Augustulus at Ravenna in 476 and the ascension to power of Odoacer in Italy, Trieste was retained for a time by the Roman Emperor seated at Constantinople, and thus became a Byzantine military outpost. In 539, the Byzantines annexed it to the Exarchate of Ravenna and, despite Trieste's being briefly taken by the Lombards in 567 in the course of their invasion of northern Italy, held it until the time of the coming of the Franks. Middle Ages In 788, Trieste submitted to Charlemagne who placed it under the authority of their Count Bishop who in turn was under the Duke of Friuli. 
From 1081 the city came loosely under the Patriarchate of Aquileia, developing into a free commune by the end of the 12th century. During the 13th and 14th centuries, Trieste became a maritime trade rival to the Republic of Venice which briefly occupied it in 1283-87, before coming under the patronage of the Patriarchate of Aquileia. After it committed a perceived offense against Venice, the Venetian state declared war against Trieste in July 1368 and by November had occupied the city. Venice intended to keep the city and began rebuilding its defenses, but was forced to leave in 1372. By the Peace of Turin in 1381, Venice renounced its claim to Trieste and the leading citizens of Trieste petitioned Leopold III of Habsburg, Duke of Austria, to make Trieste part of his domains. The Agreement of Voluntary Submission was signed at the Castle of Graz on 30 September 1382. The city maintained a high degree of autonomy under the Habsburgs, but was increasingly losing ground as a trade hub, both at the expense of Venice and Ragusa. In 1463, a number of Istrian communities petitioned Venice to attack Trieste. Trieste was saved from utter ruin by the intervention of Pope Pius II who had previously been Bishop of Trieste. However, Venice limited Trieste's territory to 3 miles kilometers outside the city. Trieste would be assaulted again in 1468-1469 by Holy Roman Emperor Frederick III. His sack of the city is remembered as the destruction of Trieste. Trieste was fortunate to be spared another sack in 1470 by the Ottomans who burned the village of Prosecco, only about 5.3 miles kilometers from Trieste, while on their way to attack Friuli. Early modern period Following an unsuccessful Habsburg invasion of Venice in the prelude to the 1508–16 War of the League of Cambrai, the Venetians occupied Trieste again in 1508, and were allowed to keep the city under the terms of the peace treaty. However, the Habsburg Empire recovered Trieste a little over one year later, when the conflict resumed. By the 18th century Trieste became an important port and commercial hub for the Austrians. In 1719, it was granted status as a free port within the Habsburg Empire by Emperor Charles VI, and remained a free port until 1 July 1891. The reign of his successor, Maria Theresa of Austria, marked the beginning of a very prosperous era for the city. 19th century in the following decades, Trieste was briefly occupied by troops of the French Empire during the Napoleonic Wars on several occasions, in 1797, 1805 and 1809. From 1809 to 1813, Trieste was annexed into Illyrian provinces, interrupting its status of free port and losing its autonomy. The municipal autonomy was not restored after the return of the city to the Austrian Empire in 1813. Following the Napoleonic Wars, Trieste continued to prosper as the free imperial city of Trieste German, Reichsunmittelbeerstadt Trieste, a status that granted economic freedom, but limited its political self-government. The city's role as Austria's main trading port and shipbuilding center was later emphasized with the foundation of the merchant shipping line Austrian Lloyd in 1836, whose headquarters stood at the corner of the Piazza Grande and Sanita today. S. Piazza United d. Italia. By 1913 Austrian Lloyd had a fleet of 62 ships comprising a total of 236,000 tons. With the introduction of the constitutionalism in the Austrian Empire in 1860, the municipal autonomy of the city was restored, with Trieste becoming capital of the Austrian literal crown land, German, Österreichisches Kustenland. In the later part of the 19th century, Pope Leo XIII considered moving his residence to Trieste or Salzburg because of what he considered a hostile anti-Catholic climate in Italy following the 1870 capture of Rome by the newly established Kingdom of Italy. However, the Austrian monarch, Franz Joseph I, rejected the idea. The modern Austro-Hungarian navy used Trieste as a base and for shipbuilding. The construction of the first major trunk railway in the empire, the Vienna Trieste Austrian Southern Railway, was completed in 1857, a valuable asset for trade and the supply of coal. In 1882, an irredentist activist, Guglielmo Oberden, attempted to assassinate Emperor Franz Joseph, who was visiting Trieste. Oberden was caught convicted and executed. 
He was regarded as a martyr by radical irredentists, but as a cowardly villain by the supporters of the Austro-Hungarian monarchy. Franz Joseph, who reigned another 35 years, never visited Trieste again. 20th century At the beginning of the 20th century, Trieste was a bustling cosmopolitan city frequented by artists and philosophers such as James Joyce, Italo Svivo, Sigmund Freud, Zofka Kavadur, Dragatin Kett, Ivan Kanker, Scipio Slataper, and Umberto Saba. The city was the major port on the Austrian Riviera, and perhaps the only real enclave of Middle Europa, i.e., Central Europe, south of the Alps. Viennese architecture and coffeehouses dominate the streets of Trieste to this day. World War I, Annexation to Italy and the Fascist Era Italy, in return for entering World War I on the side of the Allied powers, had been promised substantial territorial gains, which included the former Austrian littoral and western inner Carniola. Italy therefore annexed the city of Trieste at the end of the war, in accordance with the provisions of the 1915 Treaty of London and the Italian-Yugoslav 1920 Treaty of Rapallo. While only a few hundred Italians remained in the newly established South Slavic state, a population of half a million Slavs, including the annexed Slovenes, were cut off from the remaining three-quarters of total Slovene population at the time and were subjected to forced Italianization. Trieste had a large Italian majority, but it had more ethnic Slovene inhabitants than even Slovenia's capital of Ljubljana at the end of 19th century. The Italian lower middle class, who felt most threatened by the city's Slovene middle class, sought to make Trieste a Città Italianissima, committing a series of attacks led by black shirts against Slovene-owned shops, libraries, and lawyers offices, and even the Trieste National Hall, a central building to the Slovene community. By the mid-1930s several thousand Slovenes, especially members of the middle class and the intelligentsia from Trieste, emigrated to the Kingdom of Yugoslavia or to South America. Among the notable Slovene émigrés from Trieste were the author Vladimir Bartel, the legal theorist Boris Ferlin and the Argentine architect Victor Sulchik. The political leadership of the around 70,000 emigres from the Julian March in Yugoslavia was mostly composed of Trieste Slovenes, Lavo Sermelge, Josef Vilfan and Ivan Maria Koch. In 1926, claiming that it was restoring surnames to their original Italian form, the Italian government announced the Italianization of German, Slovene and Croatian surnames. In the province of Trieste alone, 3.000 surnames were modified and 60.000 people had their surnames amended to an Italian-sounding form. The psychological trauma, experienced by more than 150,000 people, led to a massive emigration of German and Slavic families from Trieste. Despite the exodus of the Slovene and German speakers, the city's population increased because of the migration of Italians from other parts of Italy. Several thousand ethnic Italians from Dalmatia also moved to Trieste from the newly created Yugoslavia. In the late 1920s, resistance began with the Slovene militant anti fascist organization TIGR, which carried out several bomb attacks in the city center. In 1930 and 1941, two trials of Slovene activists were held in Trieste by the Fascist Special Tribunal for the Security of the State. During the 1920s and 1930s, several monumental buildings were built in the fascist architectural style, including the impressive University of Trieste and the almost 70 meters (229.66 feet) tall Victory Lighthouse, Faro della Vittoria, which became a city landmark. The economy improved in the late 1930s, and several large infrastructure projects were carried out. The fascist government encouraged some of the artistic and intellectual subcultures that emerged in the 1920s, and the city became home to an important avant garde movement in visual arts, centered around the futurist Tullio Crowley and the constructivist Avgust Cernogoge. In the same period, Trieste consolidated its role as one of the centers of modern Italian literature, with authors such as Umberto Saba, Biagio Marin, Gianni Stuperich, and Salvatore Sada. Intellectuals frequented the historic Café San Marco, still open today. Some non-Italian intellectuals remained in the city, such as the Austrian author Julius Kuji, the Slovene writer and poet Stanko Vuk, the lawyer and human rights activist Josip Ferfolja and the anti-fascist clergyman Jakob Uchmar. 
The promulgation of the anti-Jewish racial laws in 1938 was a severe blow to the city's Jewish community, at the time the third largest in Italy. The fascist anti-Semitic campaign resulted in a series of attacks on Jewish property and individuals, culminating in July 1942 when the synagogue of Trieste was raided and devastated by the fascist squads and the mob. World War II and aftermath with the annexation of the province of Ljubljana by Italy and the subsequent deportation of 25,000 Slovenes, which equaled 7.5% of the total population of the province, the operation, one of the most drastic in Europe, filled up Rab concentration camp, Ginars concentration camp, Monago, Treviso, Renici Dangiari, Chiasanwova, and other Italian concentration camps where altogether 9,000 Slovenes died. World War II came close to Trieste. Following the trisection of Slovenia, starting from the winter of 1941, the first Slovene partisans appeared in Trieste province, although the resistance movement did not become active in the city itself until late 1943. After the Italian armistice in September 1943, the city was occupied by Wehrmacht troops. Trieste became nominally part of the newly constituted Italian Social Republic, but it was de facto ruled by Germany, who created the operation zone of the Adriatic littoral out of former Italian northeastern regions, with Trieste as the administrative center. The new administrative entity was headed by Friedrich Rainer. Under German occupation, the only concentration camp with a crematorium on Italian soil was built in a suburb of Trieste, at the Ricera di San Saba on 4 April 1944. About 5,000 South Slavs, Italian anti-fascists and Jews died at the Ricera, while thousands more were imprisoned before being transferred to other concentration camps. The city saw intense Italian and Yugoslav partisan activity and suffered from Allied bombings. The city's Jewish community was deported to extermination camps, where most of them died. Yugoslav occupation on 30 April 1945, the Slovenian and Italian anti-fascist of Osvobodilna Fronta and National Liberation Committee, Comitato di Liberazione Nazionale, or CLN, of Marzari and Savio Fonda, made up of approximately 3,500 volunteers, incited a riot against the Nazi occupiers. On 1 May Allied members of the Yugoslav Partisans 8th Dalmatian Court took over most of the city, except for the courts and the castle of San Justo, where the German garrisons refused to surrender to anyone other than New Zealanders. The Yugoslavs had a reputation for shooting German and Italian prisoners. The 2nd New Zealand Division under General Freyberg continued to advance towards Trieste along Route 14 around the northern coast of the Adriatic Sea and arrived in the city the following day. See official histories the Italian campaign and through the Venetian line. The German forces surrendered on the evening of May 2, but were then turned over to the Yugoslav forces. The Yugoslavs held full control of the city until 12 June, a period known in Italian historiography as the 40 Days of Trieste. During this period, hundreds of local Italians and anti-communist Slovenes were arrested by the Yugoslav authorities, and many of them were never seen again. Some were interned in Yugoslav concentration camps, in particular at Borovnica, Slovenia, while others were simply murdered and thrown into potholes. Foib. On the Karst Plateau, British Field Marshal Harold Alexander condemned the Yugoslav military occupation, stating that Marshal Tito's apparent intention to establish his claims by force of arms, is all too reminiscent of Hitler, Mussolini and Japan. It is to prevent such actions that we have been fighting this war." After an agreement between the Yugoslav leader Josip Broz Tito and Field Marshal Alexander, the Yugoslav forces withdrew from Trieste, which came under a joint British-U.S. military administration. The Julian March was divided between Anglo-American and Yugoslav military administration until September 1947 when the Paris Peace Treaty established the Free Territory of Trieste. Zone A of the Free Territory of Trieste, 1947-54 In 1947, Trieste was declared an independent city-state under the protection of the United Nations as the Free Territory of Trieste. 
The territory was divided into two zones, A and B, along the Morgan Line established in 1945. From 1947 to 1954, the A zone was governed by the Allied military government, composed of the American Trieste United States Troops Trust, commanded by Major General Bryant E. Moore, the commanding general of the American 88th Infantry Division, and the British Element Trieste Forces. BETFOR, commanded by Sir Terence Airy, who were the Joint Forces Commander and also the military governors. Zone A covered almost the same area of the current Italian province of Trieste, except for four small villages south of Muggia, see below, which were given to Yugoslavia after the dissolution see London Memorandum of, 1954, of the Free Territory in 1954. Zone B, which was under the administration of Milos Stamatovic, then colonel of the Yugoslav People's Army, was composed of the northwesternmost portion of the Istrian Peninsula, between the River Myrna and the Debeli Urtic Cape. In 1954, in accordance with the Memorandum of London, the vast majority of Zone A, including the city of Trieste, joined Italy, while Zone B and four villages from Zone A Plavja, Spodnie Skafij, Hervatini, and LRG became a part of Yugoslavia, being divided between Slovenia and Croatia. The final border line with Yugoslavia and the status of the ethnic minorities in the areas was settled bilaterally in 1975 with the Treaty of Osimo. This line now constitutes the border between Italy and Slovenia. Government This is a list of the mayors of Trieste since 1949. Economy During the Austro-Hungarian era, Trieste became a leading European city in economy, trade and commerce, and was the fourth largest and most important center in the empire, after Vienna, Budapest and Prague. The economy of Trieste, however, fell into a decline after the city's annexation to Italy at the end of World War I but fascist Italy promoted a huge development of Trieste in the 1930s, with new manufacturing activities related even to naval and armament industries, like the famous. Cantiri Aeronautici Navali Triestini Cant. Allied bombings during World War II destroyed the industrial section of the city, mainly the shipyards. As a consequence, Trieste was a mainly peripheral city during the Cold War. However, since the 1970s, Trieste has experienced a certain economic revival. The city is part of the Corridor 5 project to establish closer transport connections between Western and Eastern Europe via countries such as Slovenia, Croatia, Hungary, Ukraine and Bosnia. The port of Trieste is a trade hub with a significant commercial shipping business, busy container and oil terminals, and steel works. The oil terminal feeds the Transalpine pipeline which covers 40% of Germany. S energy requirements 100% of the states of Bavaria and Baden-Württemberg, 90% of Austria and more than 30% of the Czech Republic. S. The sea highway connecting the ports of Trieste and Istanbul is one of the busiest RO, RO, roll-on-roll-off routes in the Mediterranean. The port is also Italy's and the Mediterranean's and one of Europe's greatest coffee ports, supplying more than 40% of Italy. S. Coffee, the thriving coffee industry in Trieste began under Austria-Hungary, with the Austro-Hungarian government even awarding tax-free status to the city in order to encourage more commerce. Some remnants of Austria-Hungary's coffee-driven economic ambition remain, such as the Hausbrand Trieste Coffee Company. As a result, present-day Trieste boasts many cafes, and is still known to this day as the coffee capital of Italy. Companies active in the coffee sector have given birth to the Trieste Coffee Cluster as their main umbrella organization, but also as an economic actor in its own right. Two Fortune Global 500 companies have their global or national headquarters in the city, respectively, Asicurazioni Generali, BIT, G, and Allianz, BIT, ALV. Other mega companies based in Trieste are Fincantieri, BIT, FCT, one of the world's leading shipbuilding companies and the Italian operations of Vartzilla. 
Prominent companies from Trieste include Ace Gasipsanga, Hera Group, Automaroki Spa, Banca Generali Spa, BIT, BGN, Genertal, Genertalife, Hera Trading, Ili, Italia Maritima, Modiano, Nuovo Arsenale Cartubi SRL, Jindal Steel and Power Italia Spa, Paccarini Spa, Siderurgica Tristina, Arvedi Group, TBS Group, BIT, TBS, U Blocks, SWX, UBXN, Telet, AIM, TCM, and Polling and Marketing Company SWG. Supported by a dynamic banking institution, the Zadrezna Kraska Banka, ZKB, the local Slovene community contributes vigorously to the economy. Demographics As of 2013 there were 204,849 people residing in Trieste, located in the province of Trieste, Friuli Venezia Giulia, of whom 46.7% were male and 53.3% were female. Trieste had lost roughly one-third of its population since the 1970s, due to the crisis of the historical industrial sectors of steel and shipbuilding, a dramatic drop in fertility rates and fast population aging. Minors, children aged 18 and younger, totaled 13.78% of the population compared to pensioners who number 27.9%. This compares with the Italian average of 18.06% minors and 19.94% pensioners. The average age of Trieste residents is 46 compared to the Italian average of 42. In the five years between 2002 and 2007, the population of Trieste declined by 3.5%, while Italy as a whole grew by 3.85%. However, in the last two years the city has shown signs of stabilizing thanks to growing immigration fluxes. The crude birth rate in Trieste is only 7.63 per 1,000, one of the lowest in eastern Italy, while the Italian average is 9.45 births. Since the annexation to Italy after World War I, there has been a steady decline in the Trieste's demographic weight compared to other cities. In 1911, Trieste was the fourth largest city in the Austro-Hungarian Empire, third largest in the Austrian part of the monarchy. In 1921, Trieste was the eighth largest city in the country, in 1961 the twelfth largest, in 1981 the 14th largest, while in 2011 it dropped to the 15th place. Language the particular Friulian dialect, called Terhestino, spoken until the beginning of the 19th century, was gradually overcome by the Triestine dialect of Venetian, a language deriving directly from Bulgar Latin, and other languages, including Standard Italian, Slovene, and German. While Triestine and Italian were spoken by the largest part of the population, German was the language of the Austrian bureaucracy and Slovene was predominantly spoken in the surrounding villages. From the last decades of the 19th century, the number of speakers of Slovene grew steadily, reaching 25% of the overall population of Trieste municipality in 1911, 30% of the Austro Hungarian citizens in Trieste. According to the 1911 census, the proportion of Slovene speakers amounted to 12.6% in the city center, 15.9% counting only Austrian citizens, 47.6% in the suburbs, 53% counting only Austrian citizens, and 90 0.5% in the surroundings. They were the largest ethnic group in nine of the 19 urban neighborhoods of Trieste, and represented a majority in seven of them. The Italian speakers, on the other hand, made up 60.1% of the population in the city center, 38.1% in the suburbs, and 6.0% in the surroundings. They were the largest linguistic group in 10 of the 19 urban neighborhoods, and represented the majority in seven of them, including all six in the city center. Of the 11 villages included within the city limits, the Slovene speakers had an overwhelming majority in 10, and the German speakers in 1, Miramare. German speakers amounted to 5% of the city's population, with the highest proportions in the city center. A small proportion of Trieste. S population spoke Serbian about 1.3% in 1911, and the city also had several other smaller ethnic communities, including Czechs, Istro-Romanians, Serbs, and Greeks, who mostly assimilated either into the Italian or the Slovene-speaking communities. Today, the dominant local dialect of Trieste is Triestine. Triestine. Pronounced Tristin, influenced by a form of Venetian. 
This dialect and the official Italian language are spoken in the city, while Slovene is spoken in some of the immediate suburbs. There are also small numbers of Serbian, Croatian, German, and Hungarian speakers. At the end of 2012, ISTAT estimated that there were 16,279 foreign-born residents in Trieste, representing 7.7% of the total city population. The largest autochthonous minority are Slovenes, but there is also a large immigrant group from Balkan nations, particularly nearby Serbia, Albania and Romania, 4.95%, Asia, 0.52%, and Sub-Saharan Africa, 0.2%. Serbian community consists of both autochthonous and immigrant groups. Trieste is predominantly Roman Catholic, but also has large numbers of Orthodox Christians, mainly Serbs, due to the city's large migrant population from Eastern Europe and its Balkan influence. Main sites In 2012, Lonely Planet listed the city of Trieste as the world's most underrated travel destination. Castles Castello Miramare, Miramare Castle. The Castello Miramare, or Miramare Castle, on the waterfront 8 km 5 miles from Trieste, was built between 1856 and 1860 from a project by Carl Junker working under Archduke Maximilian. The castle gardens provide a setting of beauty with a variety of trees, chosen by and planted on the orders of Maximilian, that today make a remarkable collection. Features of particular attraction in the gardens include two ponds, one noted for its swans and the other for lotus flowers, the castle annex, Castelletto, a bronze statue of Maximilian, and a small chapel where is kept a cross made from the remains of the Novara, the flagship on which Maximilian, brother of Emperor Franz Joseph, set sail to become Emperor of Mexico. Much later, the castle was also the home of Prince Amadeo, Duke of Aosta, the last commander of Italian forces in East Africa during the Second World War. During the period of the application of the instrument for the provisional regime of the Free Territory of Trieste, as established in the Treaty of Peace with Italy Paris 2 October 1947, the castle served as headquarters for the United States Army's Trust Force. Castel San Giusto, Castle of San Giusto. The Castel San Giusto, or Castle of San Giusto, was designed on the remains of previous castles on the site, and took almost two centuries to build. The stages of the development of the castle's defensive structures are marked by the central part built under Frederick III 1470-1, the round Venetian bastion 1508-9, the Hoyos Lilio bastion and the Pomis, or Bastion Fiorito, dated 1630. Places of worship The St. Justus Cathedral, symbol of Italian Trieste during the Risorgimento. Named after the city's patron, St. Justus. This church dates back to 1320, its interiors are decorated by beautiful Byzantine mosaics. The Serbian Orthodox Church of the Holy Trinity and St. Spyridon The building adopts the Greek cross plan with five cupolas in the Byzantine tradition. The Anglican Chiesa di Cristo Christ Church, 1829. The Waldensian and Helvetian Evangelical Basilica of St. Sylvester, 11th century. The Church of Santa Maria Maggiore, 1682. The Augustan Evangelical Lutheran Church, 1874. The Greek Orthodox Church of San Niccolo dei Greci, 1787. This church by the architect Matteo Perch, 1818, with belt towers on both sides of the façade, follows the Austrian late Baroque style. The interiors are full of golden ornaments. The Synagogue of Trieste, 1912. This synagogue is the second largest in Europe. The Temple of Monte Grisa, 1960. Archaeological remains. Arch of Ricardo, 33 BC. It is a Roman gate built in the Roman walls in 33. It stands in Piazzetta Barbican, in the narrow streets of the old town. It's called Arco di Ricardo, Richard's Arch. Where Ricardo is a corruption of Cardus, the Roman street which crossed it. 
Folk etymology created a local legend, which says that it was crossed by King Richard I of England on the way back from the Crusades. Basilica Ferenc, 2nd century Paleochristian Basilica Roman Age temples, one dedicated to Athena, one to Zeus, both on the S. Justo Hill. The ruins of the temple dedicated to Zeus are next to the Forum, those of Athena's temple are under the basilica, visitors can see its basement. Roman Theater The Roman Theater lies at the foot of the San Justo Hill, facing the sea. The construction partially exploits the gentle slope of the hill, and much of the theater is made of stone. The topmost portion of the steps and the stage were supposedly made of wood. The statues that adorned the theater, brought to light in the 1930s, are now preserved at the town museum. Three inscriptions from the Trajanic period mention a certain Q. Petronius Modestus, someone closely connected to the development of the theater, which was erected during the second half of the first century. Caves In the entire province of Trieste, there are 10 speleological groups out of 24 in the whole Friuli Venezia Giulia region. The Trieste Plateau, Altopiano Triestino, called Crass or the Carso and covering an area of about 200 square kilometers, 77 square miles within Italy has approximately 1,500 caves of various sizes, like that of Basoviza, now a monument to the Foib massacres. Among the most famous are the Grotta Giganti, the largest tourist cave in the world, with a single cavity large enough to contain St. Peter's in Rome, and the Cave of Trevicciano, 350 meters 1,150 feet deep, at the bottom of which flows the Timevo River. This river dives underground at Skopjan Caves in Slovenia, they are on UNESCO list and only a few kilometers from Trieste, and flows about 30 kilometers 19 miles before emerging about 1 kilometer 0.6 miles from the sea in a series of springs near Duino, reputed by the Romans to be an entrance to Hades. The world of the dead. Others the Austrian quarter, half of the city was built under Austro-Hungarian dominion, so there is present a very large number of avenues and palaces that resemble Vienna. The most present architecture styles are neoclassical, Art Nouveau, Eclectic, Liberty and Baroque. Città Vecchia, Old City, Trieste boasts an extensive old city, there are many narrow and crooked streets with typical medieval houses. Nearly the entire area is closed to traffic. Piazza United di Italia, Trieste's central majestic square surrounded by 19th century architecture, and the largest seafront square in Europe. Val Rosandra, a national park on the border between the province of Trieste and Slovenia. Café San Marco, historical café in the center of the city. Cafés play an important role in the Triestine economy, as Trieste developed a thriving coffee industry under Austria-Hungary, and is still known to this day as the coffee capital of Italy. Culture Trieste has a lively cultural scene with various theaters. Among these are the Opera Teatro Lirico Giuseppe Verdi, Politiama Rossetti, the Teatro La Contrada, the Slovene Theater in Trieste, Slovensko Stalno Gledalish, since 1902, Teatro Miela, and a several smaller ones. There are also numerous museums. Among these are Diego de Henriquez War Museum, Museo Sartorio. Rivoltella Museum Modern Art Gallery Civico Museo di Storia Natural di Trieste, Natural History Museum containing fossils of early man. Civico Orto Botanico di Trieste, a municipal botanical garden. Orto Botanico del Universita di Trieste, the University of Trieste's botanical garden. Two important national monuments. The Ricera di San Saba, Ricera di San Saba Museum, a national monument commemorating the Holocaust. It was the only Nazi concentration camp with crematorium in Italy. The Foiba di Basoviza, a national monument. 
It is a reminder of the killings of Italians and other ethnic groups by Yugoslav partisans after World War II. The last episode of an interethnic violence begun in the 19th century, with the rise of nationalism, and heavily intensified by the fascist government, the Slovenska Gospodarsko Kulturna z Visa, Union Economica Cultural Slovena is the umbrella organization bringing together cultural and economic associations belonging to the Slovene minority. Media Newspaper Sol Piccolo Primorsky Denevnik La Gazeta Giuliana Broadcasting Television Rai Friuli Venezia Giulia Tele Quattro Radio Radio Atavita Trieste Radio Fregola Radio Punto Zero Publishing Gasterios Editore Lint Editorial Education the University of Trieste, founded in 1924, is a medium-sized state-supported institution with 12 faculties, and boasts a wide and almost complete range of courses. It currently has about 23,000 students enrolled and 1,000 professors. Trieste also hosts the Scuola Internazionale Superiore di Studi Avanzati, CISA, a leading graduate and postgraduate teaching and research institution in the study of mathematics, theoretical physics, and neuroscience, and the MIB School of Management Trieste, one of Italy's top five business schools. There are three international schools offering primary and secondary education programs in English in the Greater Metropolitan Area, the International School of Trieste, the European School of Trieste, and the United World College of the Adriatic. Liceo Scientifico Statale. France Preseren. 1 and Liceo Anton Martin Slomsic 2 offer public secondary education in the Slovene language. The city also hosts numerous national and international scientific research institutions. Among these, Area Science Park, which comprises ELETRA, a synchrotron particle accelerator with free electron laser capabilities for research and industrial applications, the International Center for Theoretical Physics, which operates under a tripartite agreement among the Italian government, UNESCO, and International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, the Trieste Astronomical Observatory, the Istituto Nazionale di Oceanografia e Geofisica Sperimentale, OGS, which carries out research on oceans and geo Physics, the International Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology, a United Nations Center of Excellence for Research and Training in Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology for the Benefit of Developing Countries, ICS UNIDO, a UNIDO research center in the areas of renewable energies, biofuels, medicinal plants, food safety and sustainable development, the CARSO Center for Advanced Research in Space Optics, and the Secretariats of the World Academy of Sciences TWAS, and of the Interacademy Panel, the Global Network of Science Academies IAP. Sports The local Calcio football club in Trieste is Tristina, one of the oldest clubs in Italy. Notably, Tristina was runner-up in the 1947-1948 season of the Italian First Division Serie A, losing the championship to Torino. Trieste is notable for having had two football clubs participating in the championships of two different nations at the same time during the period of the Free Territory of Trieste, due to the schism within the city and region created by the post-war demarcation. Tristina played in the Italian First Division, Serie A. Although it faced relegation after the first season after the Second World War, the FIGC changed the rules to keep it in, as it was seen as important to keep a club of the city in the Italian league, while Yugoslavia had its eye on the city. In the championship of next season the club played its best season with a third-place finish. Meanwhile, Yugoslavia bought ASD. Ponziana, a small team in Trieste, which under a new name, Amatori Ponziana TRST, played in the Yugoslavian League for three years. Tristina went bankrupt in the 1990s, but after being refounded regained a position in the Italian Second Division, Serie B, in 2002. Ponziana was renamed as Circolo Sportivo Ponziana 1912 and currently plays in Friuli Venezia Giulia Group of Promozioni, which is 7th level of the Italian League. 
Trieste also boasts a famous basketball team, Palacanestro Trieste, which reached its zenith in the 1990s under coach Bogdan Tanjevic when, with large financial backing from sponsor Stefanel, it was able to sign players such as Dayan Bodoroga, Fernando Gentile and Gregor Fucca, all stars of European basketball. At the end of the 2017-18 season, the team, now trained by coach Eugenio Dalmasson, won promotion to the Lega Basket Serie A, Italy's highest basketball league. Many sailing clubs have roots in the city which contribute to Trieste's strong tradition in that sport. The Barcolana Regatta, which had its first edition in 1969, is the world's largest sailing race by number of participants. Local sporting facilities include the Stadio Nario Rocco, a UEFA certified stadium with seating capacity of 32,500, the Palatriest, an indoor sporting arena sitting 7,000 people, and Piscina Bruno Bianchi, a large Olympic size swimming pool. Film Trieste has been portrayed on screen a number of times, with films often shot on location in the area. In 1942 the early neorealist Alpha Tau, was filmed partly in the city. Cinematic interest in Trieste peaked during the height of the Free Territory era between 1947 and 1954 with international films such as Sleeping Car to Trieste and Diplomatic Courier portraying it as a hotbed of espionage. These films, and the later The Yellow Rolls Royce 1964, conveyed an impression of the city as a cosmopolitan place of conflict between great powers, a portrayal which resembled that of Casablanca 1943. Italian filmmakers, by contrast, portrayed Trieste as unquestionably Italian in a series of patriotic films including Trieste Mia, and Ombre su Trieste, the city hosted in 1963 the first international festival of science fiction film, Festival Internazionale del Film di Fantascienza, which ran until 1982. Under the name Science Plus Fiction, now Trieste Science Plus Fiction Festival, the festival was brought back in 2000. Recently a new interest in the city sparked with Italian movies such as The Invisible Boy 2014 film, its sequel The Invisible Boy, second generation and Italian TV series. Transport Maritime transport Trieste's maritime location and its former long-term status as part of the Austrian and, between 1867–1918, Austro-Hungarian empires made the port of Trieste the major commercial port for much of the landlocked areas of Central Europe. In the 19th century, a new port district known as the Porto Nuovo was built northeast to the city center. There is significant commercial shipping to the container terminal, steel works and oil terminal, all located to the south of the city center. After many years of stagnation, a change in the leadership placed the port on a steady growth path, recording a 40% increase in shipping traffic as of 2007. Rail transport Railways came early to Trieste, due to the importance of its port and the need to transport people and goods inland. The first railroad line to reach Trieste was the Sudbahn, launched by the Austrian government in 1857. This railway stretches for 1,400 kilometers (870 miles) to Lviv, Ukraine, via Ljubljana, Slovenia, Sopron, Hungary, Vienna, Austria, and Krakow, Poland, crossing the backbone of the Alps Mountains through the Semmering Pass near Graz. It approaches Trieste through the village of Villa Opicina, a few kilometers from the big city, but over 300 meters (984 feet) higher in elevation. Due to this, the line takes a 32 kilometers 20 miles detour to the north, gradually descending before terminating at the Trieste Central Railway Station. In 1887, the Imperial Royal Austrian State Railways German Kaiserlich Konnelisch Österreichische Staatsbahnen opened a new railway line, the Trieste HR Pelgi Railway German HR Pelgi Bahn, from the new port of Trieste to HR Pelgi Casina on the Istrian Railway. The intended function of the new line was to reduce the Austrian Empire's dependence on the Sudbahn network. Its opening gave Trieste a second station south of the original one, which was named Trieste San Andrea, German, Trieste Sankt Andrea. 
The two stations were connected by a railway line that in the initial plans had to be an interim solution, the Rive Railway, German, Rive Bonn, but which survived until 1981, when it was replaced by the Galleria di Circondolazione, a 5.7 kilometers, 3.5 miles, railway tunnel route to the east of the city. With the opening of the Transalpina Railway from Vienna, Austria via Jesinis and Nova Gorica in 1906, the St. Andrea station was replaced by a new, more capacious, facility, named Trieste Stazione dello Stato, German, Trieste Staatsbahnhof, later Trieste Campo Marzio now a railway museum, and the original station came to be identified as Trieste Stazione della Meridionale or Trieste Meridionale, German, Trieste Sudbahnhof. This railway also approached Trieste via Villa Opicina, but it took a rather shorter loop southwards towards the seafront. Freight services from the dock area include container services to northern Italy and to Budapest, Hungary, together with rolling highway services to Salzburg, Austria and Frankfurt, Germany. There are direct intercity and high-speed trains between Trieste and Venice, Verona, Turin, Milan, Rome, Florence, Naples and Bologna. The Mestre Railway Hub offers further connecting options with high-speed trains to Rome and Milan. Passenger trains also run between Villa Opicina and Ljubljana. Air transport Trieste is served by the Trieste Friuli Venezia Giulia Airport IATA, TRS. The airport serves domestic and international destinations and is fully connected to the national railway and highway networks. The Trieste Airport Railway Station links the passenger terminal directly to the Venice-Trieste Railway thanks to a 425-meter-long skybridge. A 16-platform bus terminal, a multi-story car park with 500 lots and a car park with 1,000 lots give public and private motor vehicles rapid access to the A4 trieste turin Highway. In the southern direction, this highway also offers seamless interconnection to Slovenia's A1 motorway, and through that to highway networks in Austria, Hungary, Croatia and the Balkans. Local transport Local public transport is operated by Trieste Trasporti, which operates a network of around 60 bus routes and two boat services. They also operate the Opicina Tramway, a hybrid between a tramway and funicular railway, providing a more direct link between the city center and Opicina. However, this tram network has been out of service for at least a year. Works on reopening the line, however, are said to be starting in the near future. Public transportation statistics the average amount of time people spend commuting with public transit in Trieste e Gorizia, for example to and from work, on a weekday is 49 minutes. 10% of public transit riders, ride for more than 2 hours every day. The average amount of time people wait at a stop or station for public transit is 11 minutes, while 18% of riders wait for over 20 minutes on average every day. The average distance people usually ride in a single trip with public transit is 4.6 km, while 6% travel for over 12 km in a single direction. Notable people International relations Trieste hosts the Secretariat of the Central European Initiative, an intergovernmental organization among Central and Southeastern European states. In recent years, Trieste was chosen to host a number of high-level bilateral and multilateral meetings such as, the Western Balkans Summit in 2017, the Italo-Russian Bilateral Summit in 2013, Leda Putin, and the Italo-German Bilateral Summit in 2008, Berlusconi-Merkel, the G8 meetings of foreign affairs and environment ministers respectively in 2009 and 2001. In July 2017, Trieste was selected by Euroscience as the European Science Capital for 2020. Sister cities and twin towns Trieste is twinned with Beirut, Lebanon, since 1956 Douala, Cameroon, since 1971 Graz, Austria, since 1973 Santos, Brazil, since 1977
Southampton, England, United Kingdom, since 2002 Le Havre, France See also Abdus Salam International Center for Theoretical Physics ICTP. Bathyscape Trieste, Swiss-designed, Italian-built deep-sea exploration vehicle Electra Synchrotron Light Laboratory Fincantieri Free Territory of Trieste Il Piccolo, Trieste's daily newspaper INFN, National Institute of Nuclear Physics, the Nuclear Physics Laboratory International Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology ICGEB. International School for Advanced Studies CISA. People from Trieste Primorsky Denevnik, Trieste's Slovene language daily newspaper Rasira di San Saba Teatro Comunale Giuseppe Verdi Treaty of Peace with Italy 1947 Trieste Astronomical Observatory US Tristina Calcio Trieste's football club Notes References External links Municipality of Trieste in Italian Trieste Chamber of Commerce in Italian University of Trieste Trieste City of Science Grotta Giganti official site in Italian Porto.trieste.it in Italian Trieste photo guide in Italian PDF Giovanni Maria Cassini 1791 Lo Stato Veneto da Terra Diviso nel Su Provinci, Seconda Parte Che Compri Porzioni del Dogato del Trevisano del Friuli e del Istria. Rome, Calcografia Camerol. Map of Trieste Region. Color footage of Trieste in the 1960s 1963, from British Pathé at YouTube.